sometimes it's like you feel like you watch the world through the thick uh, glass window like you see the people but you don't understand them and also you they don't understand you as well um it's just it's hard to relate to different people and also you look in the mirror and you see just somebody who you hate that's i think that's the worst part sometimes you even feel that you are just mentally and physically tired of all the hate you put on yourself but it's so hard to change it it feels really really horrible because it feels like no one's supporting you you're on your own versus the whole world everything is going against you and you have no hope no faith everything is just going downhill so it it really destroys you from the inside it's something like vacuum cleaner which take all your emotions all your feelings and actually everything from your life you trying to kind of go under the wet and that all world around you don't touch you don't find you but in same time you feel so lonely and you wanna that somebody understand you but you're so scared to show that you seek that you are a weak uh i think depression is when someone feels really sad and really down and they feel like they can't do anything anymore and they give up on what they were doing before and i think it's a very serious case i uh, i have problems sleeping i see myself as a like bad and unworthy person um i have very low mood and sometimes i don't feel anything at all i have suicidal thoughts that's a lot of stuff happening at once this suicide thoughts it's mm, you not feel like it's something bad you really feel like you will become better if you do this that finally it will all ends and you will not suffer again i think anyone who goes to depression should go to a therapist i mean where i grew up therapist was not a very big thing and it wasn't there that much so it was very irregular for someone to go to a therapist but i think anyone who's facing depression should go to a therapist to be in an environment where you can talk about yourself talk about all the hardships you're facing at that time it really helps improve yourself especially in a non-judgmental environment um i think the most important is to seek help and also to find a safe way to vent safe when way is not being self-harm it's not being hurting yourself or other people it can be something you enjoy and something that can bring a little happiness in your life like maybe sports maybe sometimes running can help you and i don't know practicing some kind of sports sometimes reading sometimes painting it's just finding yourself and something you are passionate and trying to use it as a weapon against the depression the most hard for me was a speak but when i start to speak and start to ask about help and start to explain for people what's going on with me and why i need some help it's become better actually for many years uh, art was my way to escape the depression because i was attending the art uh, middle and high school and just all i did was drawing and painting my emotions away now when i started university and they are not really connected with art not in the practical way it's a little harder it still helps me but it's more difficult sometimes you just need a sometimes you just need to sit and cry a lot and that's that's all 
think it's the people surrounding you. If you have really motivated people, people who always want to help each other, people who try to find the good in everything, and you look at them and you see how much they're making an effort for a better difference, I think that really changes it and really helps you to move further out from depression. So people around you, your environment around you, your surroundings, everything is a factor in depression, in my opinion. So I think if you find the right people to surround yourself with, you wouldn't have to go through something like that. Sometimes when you have depression, you just wait like, when it will pass, when it will pass, already everything feel like normal, everything fine, but it still happens days when you feel so bad, so lonely, and it depends how you um, react for those days, and it depends how you control your thoughts do you let yourself go down do you let yourself to feel worse and just feel pity about yourself or you just say like no everything will be fine it's just a bad day bad mood and trying to analyze why it happens and fixes first it weakens our mind and I think because when it weakens our mind and we're unmotivated to do anything, most of the time we just prefer to sit at home and do nothing. And if it extends over a long time, your body just slowly weakens and weakens and makes you even less motivated to do anything. So I think that's why to try to keep yourself as healthy as possible, even when in depression, to at least, you know, maybe go for a run or go to the gym or something like that. Try not to coop yourself up in one place because that will weaken yourself mentally and physically. The worst advice is what I heard. It's just, come on, take yourself in hand. Go breathe. Go party. You just need to chill. Just relax. What's wrong? Everything's fine with your life. And it's making just worse, trust me, because you already hate yourself. You already feel like you're lazy, you're nothing. And when people say it for you, they kind of make it really worse. You start to hate yourself more and you distance with these people, even if you're is it even if it's your parents, your partner, your close friends? Yeah, you kind of take pause with your relations with these people. It's very tiring when they just ask you to go out and just, I don't know, breathe the fresh air because it's not about it. I think the hardest part if when when they kind of criticize you they call you lazy one time there was a girl who approached me and she said nobody likes people with depression and that hurt a lot and I still remember that so people can be shit <laughs> in my culture it's that men always have to be the strong men are the ones in charge of them and uh, of everything so it's always a lot of pressure on the man where they say he has to do everything he has to take care of the family he has to bring the money in for the family so there's a lot of pressure on them and if they can't reach up to that level they see him as someone weak which they completely despise so even if they go i think that if they go to depression they try to hide it because they want to show that they're very strong they're capable of maintaining a very difficult life but I think it's fine to show weakness they should be able to show themselves for who they are and not the person that society wants them to be I know that if you have depression once it's big chance that it's come back it's kind of if you don't do anything for example you just taking pills and don't change anything in your life of course, it will come back because reason why you have depression don't change and it will um, cheese you again.
The problem is it depends on the person. Sometimes, unfortunately, sometimes you don't notice until it's too late. But, um, but if you are close to the person and you see that their mood is very low, they seem to talk only about only unpleasant stuff about themselves, even as, as a joke. It's never think to just laugh it off and ignore. I think everybody needs some kind of support and to see that other people understand and listen to them. So sometimes even if you don't understand and you are not sure if somebody has depression, it's still good to talk and show your support no matter what. I think when you start getting into depression, you start uh, distancing yourself from others. You put a line, you put a distance between people and usually people who are depressed try to be alone as much as possible and it goes through a lot of their heads. And some people are quite good at not showing depression. So it's very small things that you have to notice to really realize that if someone is in depression or not, Because usually people who are don't try to seek help. They're usually on their own. So it's a very hard thing to see. But I think if you're really close friends with someone, you should be able to notice basic differences in their behavior. I know a lot of people. Actually... I think more than a half of my friends have problems like this. Um, They are usually the people of around my age, a little older, because I notice that people who are in the age of my parents and face the issue like this, they don't want to talk about it. They They feel like it's shameful or they don't consider it a problem at all because they were taught it's not... It's not really a problem, I guess. Um, But I think in general, slowly, slowly, people start to talk more openly about this, and that's great. Uh, But I think there is still a long way ahead of us. When I was in high school, uh, we had, um, we were able to reach to the school psychologist and we were able to talk with them sometimes even without our parents knowing because you often just don't want to tell them not to worry them um so they were offering that help sometimes learning like p classes sometimes on the long break on university i didn't have any information about any kind of psychological help that is really a shame because I can see how many students have to face with serious depression and suicidal thoughts and university often not doing anything with it or not not noticing um, some special uh, needs of other students. It's it's hard. Um, No, most of our schools that I've been to, because I've been to four different schools, they don't talk about depression that much. Because they see it as, because in my country, it was boys' school and girls' school. And the boys' school, they see it like it's an unmanly thing to go through. So it was just a topic that was avoided, which I think is completely wrong because it's an illness that can destroy people from the inside. I think that's often a problem that people doesn't notice it or doesn't don't consider it a problem. So... They just want you to be perfect. They want you to smile. Then they want you to work and study and have good grades and have good results at work. Uh, but they don't consider that you need any kind of help. So they just ignore uh, your needs. For example, when I taking pills, my parents already, after I don't know two weeks, start to ask me, "Is it already gone?" your depression like maybe you should stop to drink these pills and they still continue to ask me this no it's not passed so easily okay grandma (laughs) yeah like that i was meeting with psychologist 
Um, but the problem, in at least in Poland, is that the mental health care is very expensive. It's uh, It shouldn't be a privilege, but it is. It can cost from around 120 to even 200 lotus, and for students it's very difficult. And if you go and register for free, the people are not often very like qualified or not like they are not very delicate. They are looking at you like just a next patient. They have to go through to end the shift, not as a person that you are. Problem is that in my country almost nobody speak about depression. You can't take quality information about it. And when you face with depression, you don't know to where you should go, what you should exactly do. You're not realizing that you have depression or how deep is your depression. So I feel like if we have some lessons in school or some, um, I don't know, one hour per month in university which do check up not just about depression, about everything. Because a lot of teenagers, a lot of young adults face with um, anorexia, bulimia, and depression, and, and other sicknesses, which you can fix kind of easy if you realize it at start. I think the most important is to reach help. help. And also, don't be ashamed of having depression. There is nothing to be ashamed of. A lot of people are struggling with this and that's that's not your fault that you feel bad. You just need some help, conversation, medicine, but it will be okay. I just want to say for everybody who watched this video that exactly you is important and please take care about yourself and See you later, I guess.